Hello, I am a Dimetrodon. In this short video, we are going to talk about the unique formation of Florida. Just watch. This is the Earth and how it looked 300 million years ago. Two huge land masses, Gondwana and Laurasia, approach one another. A supercontinent named Pangaea was formed when North America collided with Africa and South America. This collision helped form the Great Appalachian Mountains of eastern North America. And after a long long time, the continent began to break apart. Time sure does move fast when you are explaining geology. I'm an ichthyosaur, and I lived around 250 million years ago, when North America and Africa began to split apart. I lived when the Great Atlantic Ocean was formed. Before Pangaea split apart, Florida was a part of Africa. But, during the final separation, Florida took off with North America. If you look deep into Florida's crust, you will find its basement rocks are the same as Africa. Florida would remain underwater for millions and millions of years. It sure is hot outside. All these volcanoes keep filling the atmosphere with carbon dioxide, creating a major greenhouse effect. The next 100 million years is perfect for ocean life. Invertebrates with hard shells thrive in the warm tropical sea, above Florida. The seas are so warm, the polar ice caps and icebergs have all melted away. As these animals die, over millions of years, a thick carbonate crust made of their shells and skeletons builds on top of the African basement rocks. Florida would have been much different today if the Suwane Channel wasn't there. It helped to redirect all of the sediments that were eroding from the Appalachian Mountains. All of these sediments would have covered Florida's tropical sea. Finally it is starting to cool down a little. Hello, I am a Meohippus, and I am going to be your host as the next millions of years transform Florida into the state we know today. The climate is now perfect for mammals, because large amounts of water are locked up in ice caps and glaciers, Florida and South America are much closer to one another. This created the great migration of animals to South America and Florida. One example is an armadillo, named Glyptodon, that was 11 feet long and migrated to North America from South America. During the last glacier period, about 20,000 years ago, the beach was 25 miles from the lighthouse in Ponce Inlet. Breaking waves and currents created the offshore habitats that fishes and invertebrates depend on today. We hope you enjoyed this video on the geologic history of Florida. We would like to thank Jeep Beach Incorporated and the friends of the Marine Science Center for making this educational video possible.